Hey guys, Chef Wu Can here. How are you today? Today's Sunday, Sunday dinner in the Asian family. I'm making Dungeness Crabs Cantonese style. You heard of Crabs Cantonese style. You may have heard of Lobster Cantonese styles. Anybody coming from the Northeast. But we have here Dungeness Crabs. It's just as good. All right. Basically, we're going to include the following ingredients. Fresh garlic and fresh ginger. Two eggs. We have some black beans fermented in water. Fresh scallion. Ground pork. And the pesto resistance, Dungeness crab. Now I'm not gonna go through with it with you in terms of how I cleaned it, but it'll be just like a regular uh, blue claw crab. You take off the shell, take off the hood. And if you like the eggs, keep the hood and then break up the uh, legs into pieces, like king crab, and then basically set it aside. All right, and the sauces we're gonna to use today would be thin soy sauce. Oyster sauce. Oil, olive oil, and Shaoxing wine. All this is gonna be incorporated into the dish, and you're gonna really enjoy it, and I'm not going to talk as much, and I'm just going to show you, okay? Alright. So here we go. Basically, we're heating up a high carbon steel wok. I can use that at high temperatures. Basically when I'm stir frying in a high carbon steel wok, you're basically gonna get a non-stick surface every time you use it over and over again. So compared to all the non-stick pans that you buy with all the sprays on it, this is a natural non-stick, all right? So we're gonna add some oil. So we add about two tablespoons. Now, we added about three cloves of garlic, one small piece of ginger sliced. And we're gonna infuse the oil flavor of the ginger and the garlic. Okay. Now, we're gonna take a half a pound to a quarter pound of brown pork. Now the flavor profile that we're gonna have is, whenever you have a salty, you always want a sweet. So we have the salty, which is the oyster sauce. And the sweet, would be a little bit of monk fruit. This you can get at the uh, bakery section aisle. This is monk fruit stevia. Monk fruit has been proven to be a natural uh, sweetener. So whenever you have a salt, you always have to have a sweet. So we're basically going to saute the ground pork with the flavor of the ginger and the garlic. Okay. The caramel the dark soy sauce is basically a coloring. Even so, though it says dark soy sauce, it's really to give you a more golden caramel color to your dish. Sometimes when you're cooking beef, you get that putrid gray color, brown color. It's not very appetizing, so they add a little bit of uh, dark soy sauce to give it a nice brownish, glowing caramel gold color. Basically, it's at one, two, three. All right. Now we'll add so you can buy a ready-made black bean sauce, but I have the actual black beans that are fermented. So I'll press it down with my fingers. 
This is more a more of an intense flavor. Just break it down. You soak it in cold water for a bit. It'll soften up. It's obviously dried when you buy it. And then the moisture of the water will soften it up. And now we'll just add it to our sauce. So you smell the garlic, the ginger, the black beans, the sweetness of the pork. Okay. Now we'll add the Dungeness Crab. You see? This is half a hood, but it has the eggs in it. The legs you cut. Right? Sectioned off. You always add the hood. This is two Dungeness Crab. The claws, I smack to uh, break it up a little easier. Now, we'll saute it a little bit. Add a little water. Now, with the water, you're gonna generate some gravy. So you wanna keep that delicious Dungeons Crab gravy. So we, we made a slurry sauce. Basically, it's like two tablespoons of cornstarch mixed with water. And you wanna get a nice little, nice consistency. This will thicken things up, bind it all together. But make sure that after you add it, you cook it. So you wait around a minute, stir frying it, make sure everything's coated. Now, I'm on a butane stove, so it may take a little bit. And then we're going to have two eggs. All right. So just bear with me. I'll be right back. So while this is cooking up, we'll try to saute it a little bit. Now, when is the uh, Dungeness crab done? Well, basically like blue claw crab or any type of crab, once it turns orange, a nice beautiful orange color, you know it's done. Okay? So, let me uh, get this on the grill and let me get this faster. Okay, so, it's been cooking for 15 minutes. The water, the little water that I added created a steam. So it expedited the cooking process, right? But you pretty much see that most of the uh, crab is done. It's a nice orange color. We just stir frying it. Want to get all that pork into the shells all over the uh, crab. Now, Dungeness crab is predominantly in the West Coast. East Coast, Maryland, is blue claw crab. So you can do the same thing with blue claw crab. Obviously, in the Northeast, it's lobster. All right, the same thing. The same way of preparing the dish different um, seafood okay so now it's all pretty much meshed together and when it's usually all orange it's perfectly done now we'll break the eggs all right and we're just going to basically pour right over one two three okay then we'll add the cut scallion now, we'll add a little bit of white pepper. White pepper, for us, is better than the regular dark pepper. It's more aromatic, yet not as strong, if you can figure that out. Right. So, we have the sauce. We'll let it sit for a little bit. Now, we'll add a little bit of dark soy sauce to give it some caramel color. About a teaspoon, right? If you want darker, you can. Then we'll add a little bit of Shaoxing wine, about two teaspoons. Now we'll add some oyster sauce, about two teaspoons. And we'll add a little bit of thin soy sauce, and one teaspoon. And we'll add a little bit of sugar. We want that flavor profile to be balanced, about a teaspoon. You want salty, you have sweet. 
You want spicy, you add sweet. And that will make everything balanced. Okay. Now that dark soy sauce is meshing with the gravy and the pork. Nice brown color. Now getting all over the crab. Right? This is what you want. Okay. So delicious. The egg is mixed in already. Now we'll thicken it all up with a slurry sauce. Okay? And this goes so delicious over beautiful jasmine rice. Mix it up, make sure you mesh the ginger, the scallion, the garlic. Okay? That's what we want. Okay, but we don't want to overcook it either, right? So now we'll take the slurry sauce, which a lot of the cornstarch has settled to the bottom, so you're going to have to mix it up a little bit, right? All right, now we're going to pour a little bit. That was uh, two tablespoons of water. Mix it together. All right. We want a lot of sauce to grab on to the crab. All right, so it's like finger licking good. All right. Basically, here it is. This is it. This is your Cantonese Dungeness crab. Okay. Let me plate it for you. I'll be right back. And so here you go. Dungeness crab Cantonese style with ground pork, black beans, ginger, scallion, Fresh garlic, two eggs, white pepper, oyster sauce, Shaoxing wine, dark soy sauce, and a little sugar. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? That's so beautiful and so finger licking good. Have this with a bowl of jasmine rice. You'll love the sauce, guaranteed. So, I just want you to know that if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and please give me a thumbs up. And once you subscribe, you'll be notified of my next um, video coming up on my channel. All right. But remember, chef who can, you can too. It's that easy. And to add, I wrote my first cookbook. The You Can Do It Asian Cookbook by Chef Who Can. Now. This book was created with 25 very easy recipes, as well as explain the why. Sometimes when you go and you buy a cookbook, you read it, it's the recipe, and that's it, and a picture. Well, they don't tell you, they don't, you have, let me have a lot of questions, but they don't answer the questions. So I try to answer the questions for you, all right? So it's well worth it. And you get a bonus section. So then how to make the famous brown sauce, famous sweet and sour sauce, combine those together, or have them separately. And then when you combine them together, you have general shao sauce. Then you have a sesame sauce, which is a sweet and sour with a little dash of sesame oil and some sprinkle of sesame seeds. And that's it. So you can make it yourself. Save money. All right. But this is Chef Wu Gourmet Cantonese Dungeness Crab Lobster. Uh, I'm sorry. Crab style. It's so delicious finger looking good all right so again aloha from the great state of maryland and cheers have a great week